Well, good evening, my friends. Kevin, the comic doctor coming to you with another live one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. My friends, something to talk about. I think you must, most of you probably already heard of the news, but I thought I'd come on here and, sh and, and give you my two cents worth. You might have got an indication from my thumbnail where my mind is kind of going with this. Guys, I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor. I'm a comic book presser. I'm also an authorized CGC dealer located way up in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And like I said, you are now watching a live uh, show called One on One where I talk about sometimes things that are happening in our hobby, the comic book hobby. Guys, my lord, can you? You believe it today right here there's with a seamless solution to have autographed collectibles authenticated graded and encapsulated um the mission of ccg to empower collectors with services that ignite passion create value blah 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 okay um it goes on to talk about how cgsa was created in 2005 by james spence jr etc etc uh some good questions to ask when can i submit my comics and magazines with autographs for jsc authentication and cgc comics grading we expect to start wow this is fast guys we expect to start accepting autographed comics and magazines for combined jsa and cg certification in april we're in march guys march is almost over an announcement made an announcement will be made uh when these services are available when can i submit my cards uh it's saying april as well what is the difference between jsa autograph authentication and cgc signature series well guys that's pretty straightforward basically they're not going to ab abandon their signature series um uh program it's it's quite a strong program in that in that collectors can still send in their comic books to be witnessed, you know, uh, in person uh, while their books are being uh, uh, um, uh, autographed. And then they are given that signature series gold label. Now, I don't know what kind of label the authentication um, service will have. Will it be a different color? Will it be a silver? Will it be a blue with a stripe? Uh, will it be a, the gold label with a, a stripe? Who knows? I could see them using the gold label with a black stripe or something like that to say it's been authenticated. But boy, you know what? This makes me happy, guys, because I have a ton of qualified books that, you know, I have, I have a beautiful copy of uh, of Iron Fist 14 and a 9.6. I've always wanted to crack it and press it. Well, now I can, and I can get Chris Claremont's signature finally authenticated on my book, and maybe it'll come back at 9.8, right? So that has made me quite happy. And again, I think this is the, uh, the the end. The end for CBCS. What do you think? Am I wrong? Is CBCS going to still exist? Look, what, two months ago, we were talking about, you know, the scandal, you know. Scandal? What scandal? Right? Yesterday on my program, we were talking about the, uh, the CGC's consistency. Consistency? What consistency? Right? We all have our stories. I've read a lot of comments from people on my video last night, people complaining about consistency and what have you. Nonetheless, you got to give it to them full steam ahead. They're going to they're gonna offer this service, which I think is a great idea. Uh, people have been asking for this forever. And now all those slabs that <laughs> people have, have not bothered to get authenticated can be authenticated. And I really do think... This is a, a a nail in the coffin, perhaps the final nail in the coffin of CBCS. Look, I'm not happy uh, if CBCS goes down, uh, goes away with a dodo bird, right? All I know is that this company has had, what, several years to get their act together and to give CGC a run for their money. Beckett acquired them. Nothing, nothing has happened to make them... Uh, a viable competitor, a real competitor, in my opinion, to CGC. And to me, as I've said many times before, it all goes back to one simple thing, customer service. Yes, you can complain about CGC. You can say, you know, consistency is out the window. You can say whatever. But when I pick up the phone, I call CGC, I get somebody at CGC. I'm not getting somebody in another country. I'm not put on hold. My, my messages are not being unanswered. To me, the most important thing beyond, you know, signature series, beyond authentication, beyond all that stuff, all the services they offer is customer service. And that is where they have Beckett's beat. And that's where Beckett's really needed to, to, to grab hold and really, uh, make a difference cgc's lowered their prices they're offering the exact same service that cbcs is offering 
They're gunning for CBCS. They're quashing them, my friends. Let's see what you guys are saying. I don't have the, the chat window up right now, but I can, I can read. I've got about 25 yen right here. Hey, Nick, how's it going? Long time no see. Um, let me pop out this window so I can see it a little bit better. I'm not going to put the chat up on the window, guys. I don't have it all set up for that. Um, let's see here. Uh, William, I'll talk about that later if you don't mind. I think you lost your sound. I did, but I found it back. Why do you think CBCS could not get their act together? I kind of went over that, but they should have gotten their act. They've had several years. Like I've said in other videos, when CBCS first uh, came about, I was very excited. Uh, it was led by, uh, you know, Steve Barak. It was, it was, you know, they were, they were a viable option, a good alternative to CGC, and I used them early on. But also early on, the problems, the chink in their armor started to show, and I had a real, real problem with them early on. And I, and I, and and when I'm working with other people's books, and I've said this before, I am not going to send books to a company that's not going to call me back when they've got your books that I'm that I'm a caretaker of. Sorry ain't happening so they've had several years to get their 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 act together and they haven't you know even when cgc slipped up a few months ago you know they put out a video our slabs are the best and blah 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 okay too little too late man you gotta come you need, you need a stronger uh you need a stronger push than just that that's my opinion look at cbcs slabs are fantastic i'll tell you right now they're strong as hell they're sturdy um, they're a bugger to get off, to, to crack open, you know what I mean? When I'm doing, you know, CPR or what have you. But they just did not run that company correctly. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, PhD says, hi, everyone. Hope you all had an incredible day. Not like the day Richter, Richter had at Quaid at the Albert. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, John says, I think it's about time the industry leader had this program. John, couldn't agree with you more. I think they avoided doing it for a long time because they wanted to really pump up that signature series program. I think by having that signature series program in place, they're saying that if you have a book that's, you know, with that gold label, someone properly witnessed that book. There's no chance of it being forged. Now, with authentication, as as um, uh, as skilled JSA may be at authenticating uh, signatures, there's always that chance that the signature is not authentic i'm sure it's somewhere in the fine print they're going to say that but at least you know they're going to give you their best their best um opinion on that yo 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 what's up louie hector i hope they, they differentiate between witness versus verify slab big difference oh they 100 percent will 100 percent will i'm sure we're going to get a new label some kind of label or maybe a modified signature series label or perhaps a modified universal label i don't think they should use a universal label like the blue label i think they should use the gold label and then kind of change it or come up with a whole different color scheme altogether uh i think cbcs had red for a while there uh, I, I think the goal with a black stripe, something like that, kind of like they have for their uh, for their um, pedigree books, the, the, the goal with the black stripe, that looks really cool. They could do that with a signature series as well. We'll see. We'll see. Eric, hey, Doc, if CGC fixes their cases too, it'll really hurt CBCS. Look, they, 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 it hasn't been too long since these new slabs have come into place. I don't anticipate seeing... Um, a change in the slabs for some time because it hasn't been that long since these new slabs have been introduced. That being said, I, I don't know, uh, Eric, if you know this or not, but as the books are coming back now, they're not like they were three months ago. They're gluing the hell out of those books now. Those books are sealed all the way around. All those videos you saw of guys sticking screwdrivers in, good luck getting a screwdriver in there now. You have to basically score, score it with a blade to open it, and you got to get in there, and it pretty much cracks every single time. So, um, you know, why they weren't doing this before, I have no idea. I can't explain that i can't tell you why they weren't gluing the hell out of their books before but anyways now it looks like they're a little bit better and i would anticipate you're going to see a modification in the slab at some point but i don't think it's going to happen tomorrow louis says now if cgc changes their cases okay help to identify case tampering and maybe okay there you go uh we just just talked about that joey how you doing hey kevin how's it going i hope this I hope with this, they get their act together and do a better better job so do i and sadly yes yeah, cbcs is most likely done i i as soon as I heard that, I'm like, 
I'll play the music again, just for those who are just getting here right now. This is this is what I think what's happened. Did I get rid of it? Oh, I got rid of the thing. I got rid of my my my, my music. I had the, the Chopin's death march. I really do believe they are gone. Nick says, is this CGC maybe trying to distract their customers with shiny object to get their focus off their quality issues? Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, it's something people have asked for for a long time. I wouldn't be a damn bit surprised if this is a part of it. Now, I'm sure they've been working on this for a while, uh, you know, backstage. Um, you know, they were really resistant to doing authentication for a long time there. So this news is kind of a shocker. Uh, but again, I'm I'm I, it's pleasantly surprised. I'm pre pleasantly surprised by it. I think it is something that we need it. As long as everybody knows that when you say authentication, it's not 100% like the witness, like the signature series program. That is a witness program. They're watching the individual sign the book or sign the item or the card or whatever. So that is a completely different service. Authentication does come with its, uh, with its, uh, you know, its risks, of course. Um, but yeah, is it distracting? Of course it is. Like who's talking about the, 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 who's talking about what happened two months ago? We all have attention spans of like ants, guys. It's shiny things, shiny things. Come on. We all, you know, good way of saying it. Shiny, shiny object. I like that. That's a good way of saying it, Nick. Eric, if PGX can exist, I feel so can CBCS, but man, this will hurt. Yeah, but PGX, man, I don't even, I, I've never sent a book to PGX. Never, ever. So I don't know how that dude is even, even surviving. I guess he's got his people. P PGX does serve a purpose. I don't want to get into that right now. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to diss anybody. I don't know the guy. Um, you know, PG actually want to talk about inconsistency. That's inconsistency, right? Um, but we're not going to go down that road. Um, don't artists charge more for autos uh, for CGC? They will need to change that now. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see a, a shift in that. Yeah, I do. I think so. And Eric says, good to know on the current cases with CGC. Makes me excited again to send and order your way. I look forward to it, Eric. Yeah, they are they are taking that a bit seriously. And again, I can't understand for the life of me why they weren't gluing the entire thing to begin with. It doesn't make any sense. Were they trying to save a couple of bucks? Was it was it uh, faster to, um, to do that? I don't know. It, it just seems really bonkers to me that they were not... Um, gluing their slabs properly to begin with as soon as these new slabs came i could always feel openings throughout it you could always see that you, know, you could open this quite easily but that i don't know but now they're not not no more so eric to, to, to say that no no more so again guys if you're getting here right now the big news is cgc is now offering signature authentication it will start in uh in april apparently according to cgc i suggest you head over to their website there's a whole there's a big banner at their website now uh discussing the acquisition of jsa that will serve the purpose of authenticating signatures and my question to you is and you can answer this question in the comment section below do you have any books that are qualified or books that are signed that you never bothered to uh, send in because of a signature. And you're always a little hesitant to use CBCS, but now with CGC's new authentication program, are you gonna send some books down to CGC to be authenticated? I can tell you straight up, I am, I am. Uh, Barlord says, I'll always acknowledge CGC will command more value, but I will still prefer the CBCS slabs. Barlord, like I said earlier, yeah, CBCS has got a great slab. CBCS's uh, misstep was their, their lack of customer service. That's for, for me as a dealer, for someone who was handling uh, books that do not belong to me, and I'm shipping them off to CGC, yeah, or to CBCS or whoever, I want to know that at a moment's notice, I can phone and talk to somebody and they can tell me where my order is, what's going on, if I have an issue. I do that with CGC all the time. Um, as a dealer, sometimes they give me some, you know, they give me some latitude when, when so if I fill out a form incorrectly, if I forget something, um, they contact me. Heck, if I if I forget to put a book, if I if I'm typing out the uh, uh, person's um, what do you call it uh, submission, and I'm, I'm I'm data entering, and I you know I I, I put say Batman number five fifty two instead of five fifty four. They'll contact me and say, we noticed that you put 552. The book is 554. We've made that change. You know, CGC does that. CBCS, I don't know if they do or not. 
Um, Bar Lord says, I've got three signed books, one of which was signed in front of me. Yeah, and I have two George Perez books that have been sitting around that I had uh, signed in, uh, in person at, at uh, Niagara Falls Comic Con. I can now send in to have authenticated. So very excited about that. I have a few autographed books. Slabbing was never something I considered. Well, now you can if you want. All right, guys, that's it. Just want to come on here and tell you I'm I'm pumped for it. I think it's a good service to have as an uh, as an option for clients. I get asked that, guys. I can't tell you how often in my shop I get guys coming in with books. In fact, I'm working on a huge GI Joe order right now, uh, Mark's books, and he has about ten signed um, uh, uh, Larry Hanna books, and they're all. You know, what are we going to do? Now he can send them in and get authenticated. So I think he'd be quite happy to hear that because he's going to, he wants a CGC. He wants them all CGC'd and we're kind of holding back those signed books. Well, now, now they can go and they can get uh, graded as well. Guys, I want to hear what you think about this in the comment section below. And again, I want to know what books are you going to send in? Again, I am planning on sending in, a, I've got a Teen Titans number two and I also have a Teen Titans number one. Uh, that I want to send in. Uh, They're both signed by George Perez in front of me at Niagara Falls Comic Con about six years ago or five years ago, I forget, uh, a couple years before he passed. And now I'm going to send them in to get. And I got a Chris Claremont book that's already qualified that I'm going to also get done. First appearance of Iron, uh, of uh, Sabretooth in Iron Fist 14. And it's been in a green slab forever. 9.6, old label. I'm going to pull that baby out, give her a good press, and send her in. 9 8, hopefully. My ASM 97 from the Drug Issue Run, signed by Gil Kane and Stanley. Oh, nice. Is probably the only one I'd want to send because of how much I love the book. Well, that, that sounds like a great one, too, Eric. Guys, take care. Have a great night. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. I usually come on here Tuesday nights to do live CGC unboxings. And guess what? You won't believe it. Another couple of boxes are on their way back as we speak. So join me here again Tuesday at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time right here for another live CGC unboxing until then my friends hey you take care of yourselves have a fantastic uh, night and the rest of your week and let me know what you think of this video in the comment section below again let me know what comics you're planning on sending in if any take care bye for now